And then we have three researchers, Robert Mora, Donald Peck, and Peter Schultz. What they did was that they invented the fiber optic wire. Now, the fiber optic wire is capable of carrying 65,000 times more information than copper wire could. So, after that, in 1991, photonic crystal fibers were invented. Now, um, photonic crystal fibers can guide light by diffraction instead of internal reflection. And they carry higher power and can be manipulated to improve performance. But photonic crystal fibers were only commercially available in 2000, the late 2000. So that is the history of fiber optics. Okay, so today I'll be explaining about the advantages of fiber optic technology as compared to your standard copper, te copper wire technology. So first one would be the medical advantage, which uh, is basically used in non-invasive surgeries where it leaves minimal scarring. So they use it in devices like bronchoscopes, endoscopes, and laparoscopes. What these do is that they give you a fluorescent image of what the inside of the cells look like because they are flexible enough and they're small enough to enter the inside of the cells. Uh, through this technology, they've also, they've also applied it to the mechanical and plumbing field. What they use it in the mechanical field for is that they use it to check uh, whether or not cars and planes are functioning properly. And in plumbing, they use it to check whether the pipes are clear and clear of any blockage. So the next point would be that it's thinner than your standard copper wire and it can be drawn to smaller diameters than copper. Meaning that it can be it can have a it can form a, a larger bundle and it can carry more uh, uh, more information at once. And uh, finally is that the final point is that it's less, there's less signal degradation compared to normal stand, your standard copper wire. Uh, this is because it uses light, it transfers information through light as uh, compared to the copper which uses electric current. Uh, light does not, light, fiber, light does not interfere between the fibers, uh, unlike the current, uh, and therefore it brings image close uh, to another point in a more clear manner and that's why you get a uh, better reception and for your phones and like clearer images for your TV and your sounds. Thank you. Right, I'm going to explain about the disadvantages of fiber optics. As you can see, it's being, I'm going to pinpoint three different factors which is fragility, price and being affected by chemicals. First is price. Even though fiber optic is made from sand which is abundance and rather cheap compared to copper wire but because it requires fusion splicing equipment therefore the prices per meter for fiber optic wire is higher than copper wire fusion splicing equipment is expensive because fusion splicing actually stands for the combination of two, two different parts of the fiber optics to become one whereby both ends are being joined using laser or perhaps uh, electric sparks. Therefore, any defect in producing these joints will cause alteration to happen, which means light cannot be reflected by total internal reflection. It will be absorbed through these cracks if it is not being joined properly. Therefore, this Fusion splicing equipment are expensive because they are specialized to join both ends of fiber optic to avoid this gap so that total internal reflection can occur without any side effects. And the second thing is fragility. Nowadays, fiber optics networks are being constructed, are being built according parallel, parallelly to the railway tracks. Therefore, if there's any derailment or perhaps shifting in the railway tracks, it will easily cut through these fine optic fiber wires. Therefore, to overcome this problem, engineers actually upgraded the quality of the fiber optics by cladding it with plastic resins. But again, by doing so, it will increase the price ultimately and it's another drawback. And the third disadvantage is it will be affected by chemicals. Because 
telecommunication companies actually use networks of fiber optics underground whereby they are being constructed through ocean, ocean lake. Therefore, these wires, these fine fiber optic wires are constantly being exposed to high pressure, high temperature. And according to reports, this according to reports at a rate of 0 0.01 atmospheric of hydrogen and at 100 degrees Celsius. If this fiber optic wire is being exposed to this condition for approximately two weeks, it will increase the level of hydrogen aging, which means hydrogen particles will exist in between this fiber optic wire. In other words, it will impede the transfer of light wave. Therefore, light could not just reflect by, by itself without any disruption. It will actually be absorbed by the hydrogen particle as well as the outer cladding. Therefore, the level of attenuation actually increases. So, according to report, if it is being exposed under this condition for two weeks, the rate of power loss will be 0.21%, which means at every kilometer, 0.21% of the power or the amount of data will be lost if hydrogen aging does occur. Today, I'm explaining about the optical fiber dispersion formula. Dispersion equals to S, S naught over 4 multiplied by lambda minus lambda, lambda naught power, power or power divided by lambda cube for the range between 1200 nanometer and 1635 nanometer. So lambda equals the operating wavelength. Um, this is a quick, quick description about the dispersions. Different wavelength of light moves of at slightly different speed. Digital signals are sent on a fiber in the form of pulses. The pulses of optical fiber are generated by the fiber which produces optical power. What is the uh, what is V lambda? Fiber optics transfer system into problems when a significant percentage of the optical powers arrive at the receiver at a different time than the rest of the optical fiber. So this is the defining dispersion formula graph. The dispersion, well, the dispersion coefficient versus the wavelength. So the graph looks like this. So it's slightly curved. When the, when the lambda increases, the dispersion increases as well. And the domain for this graph is between 1200 and 1600 between, 1000, between the range of 1200 and 1600 and the range is negative 10 to 1020 you, you write first T, uh, the equation first TU is the time delay for dispersion And then this this is obtained by you by differenti differentiating this one T of U T U. So it becomes now I'm going to solve for C first. You write equation one. And then this one. So it becomes C by B, it becomes four answer. Comes out with four answer. For this part we don't take negative values and we don't take this one, these two. So this the only answer we can do to this is this one. Next, I will, I'm going to solve for C. So C is equal to D of D of root uh, lambda B C, right? So if we solve C, it becomes um, C 
C is equal to lambda naught by B. The way it becomes is by substituting this one into this. You just shift it to what the C to the real left. Then we will go on to B, B part. You want B, so you just simply differentiate this one. So it becomes S, S not. Then you substitute this one with this one. So it becomes like this S on by A. For the final part, you S not this one. You expand. You expand the expand this one. So it becomes. It becomes like this. And then you collect the S dot by 4, right? From. So the final equation becomes like this S dot by 4 minus by 3. So if you put like this one. Lambda, D lambda. So this is the equation you get. We are using. Let's talk about uh, the future of fiber optic. What, what, we are, what we think about the future? Well, back in 2004, because of the high price of the fiber optic, optic fiber technology, and it's mainly used in telecommunication, uh, most most of the profit, business profit went down simply because just to be connected in the telecommunication. There are a few business in different countries, they lost over billions and billions of dollars just to uh, maintain this, the, the optic fiber technology. But what would it have effects to our future? Well, I think nowadays we are in a world where we have really became internet dependent and communication dependent unlike back in around 2004. Nowadays, the power of internet uh, with its fiber technology enables us to get a very very fast internet connection almost up to 100 gigabytes per second. Optic fiber technology is very important to maintain our future and to keep the business running.